down and wait till they're done. I'd be like, but oh, your mind is still thinking, no yeah. matter if you're clicking. Yeah. Your mind is you're still like, yeah. thinking. I know. It kind of it kind of makes you appreciate what we take so much for granted. You know, like lights and and like being around loved that. ones and you know what I'm saying? Because you are there by yourself. You know, it's out of control. It's out of control. This is my man Paul here, and he has a question for Angela. All right, uh, Angela, what happened between you and the ghost? To me, it looked like you were kissing him. But uh, what really happened? What really happened? I went into that room, and I swear there was nothing in there. And the next thing I knew, there was definitely someone in there, and it was a guy. And I definitely felt halfway through it that it was in my body, and it just felt like this awesome feeling. It just was weird. It felt like it was so great to be alive. The next thing I knew, my body just felt completely calm. I thought I was kissing whatever it was. I was like, what am I doing? You scored with the ghost. He muted you, ghost. No, I'm serious. I just felt like whatever it was was in me. Seriously, I, I felt like whatever it was, was it was hitting on me. Like, I felt like, seriously, it liked me. I'm serious. Were you like, did you feel like sexually stimul stimulated? <laughs> she said it felt awesome. <laughs> Did you guys catch that? Awesome. That is such a powerful word to use. All right, guys, stay tuned, because we have more to come on Faces of Fear. You ever heard that expression, uh, shaking in your boots? I could, my ankles was hitting the side of the boots. I would have never been able to chop off a chicken's head doll to yeah. make that much. Somebody had to make that much. I'm cash, I'm cash motivated, money oriented. <laughs> <laughs> Open the wooden box and remove the contents that are inside. There's a dead chicken in the box. Use the cleaver to chop off the chicken's head. Yo, welcome back to the Faces of Fear. Our next question comes to us from a fan off our website, mcv.com. Did anyone get really upset if one of the team members quit and the others had to complete their dare? I was a little upset um, on, on the dare that I had to do only because it was, it was my girl's first one. You know what I'm saying? We had kind of just gotten there. And it's crazy because even before we went out, if you watch it on the tape, she actually says, um, yo, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm going home. Yeah, I'm going home. And I'm like, Dad, we ain't even get outside yet. We still in a safe house. You know what I'm saying? And then I don't know. It was, it was, it was kind of like I really wanted, wanted her to do it. Oh hell no, no. Separated from your teammates, you must spend the day here and unable to communicate with them. Once you enter, there is no turning back. Oh hell no. Uh uh. I'm going home. I'm not spending the day here. You're not staying. No, I'm not going to spend the day here. Things that have been pushing me the whole time I'm here. Uh uh. Really? I'm out. No, 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 no. And Blue wants to replace her. When people start quitting, and I know everybody can vouch for this, the second one person quits, it becomes scarier. It's because yeah. it becomes right. realizing it's that this got to this yeah. person. And you don't want it. It got to this person. You're absolutely right. And it's a domino effect. Darrell, after, uh, after you won the $5,000, you got to do a bonus scare that seemed really scary. Congratulations. You have completed your final dare. But wait. Each of you has a chance to earn an additional $3,000 if you complete a bonus dare. Uh, I'm going for eight, bro. That's almost 10 grand. I, I can't, That's what I'm I can't go back to my hometown oh. without trying this. Man, I don't know if I can do this, man. You're all right, what happened? I'm in a tunnel, something's chasing me. Something's chasing me. <laughs> <chasing. laughs> What was going on? Like? Okay, well, I had to go up about five or six flights of steps. And every time I would pass a door, like you go past floor one, and I'd get about 10 feet up the next flight of steps, that door w would just keep repeatedly just slamming and slamming, you know, all the way up. Then I got up into that attic, and I had to walk around. They didn't show it, but I had to walk around and take readings from the EMF detector. And it was just going, you know, all over the place. And I was still hearing those bangs 
and uh, it, I, it was like some whispering I, I thought I heard and everything, and I was just you know I never been that I never been that scared in my life. Did you fall? Yeah, I felt when I when I was running back down the steps, the doors were still slamming as I was running down the steps. Was something chasing you? You know, I thought it was because so the they doors were slamming, were slamming. Twice. every every time I ran you past a door. The door. The doors oh, were already wait. closed. They were already so closed. So every time right. I ran past a door, it was slammed. Mm. If it was fake, they would have had 20, they, ha they would have to have like 20 people following me, making noises, you know? Yeah. And, you know, you would have, I would have seen, seen them. Was it worth the three Gs, man? Oh, oh, oh yeah. So oh, yeah, you know? You I'm got any left? I'm, I'm cash, huh? I'm cash motivated, money oriented. <laughs> <laughs> Our next question comes to us from a fan off our website, mtv.com. What did it feel like to have a spirit other than your own inside your body? When I invoked the spirit, I, I definitely felt his presence there. You will now perform an invocation to call the spirit to you. Repeat after me. I am sensing a presence here that needs to come forward. I am sensing a presence here that needs to come forward. Over. I invite you to enter me. I invite you to enter me. I mean, a lot of stuff was going through my mind. I actually could feel what happened to this man, and like like Ariana said, and I really didn't know, you know, so many th like he had a kid and, and just things like that, and I felt like a cold feeling come over my body, you know, at that instant when I invoked his spirit. But I, I was very much in control, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like I lost control and I didn't know what I was doing. Oh my God. Oh my god, oh my god, guys, oh my god, oh my god. This is so f scary. Ah, oh my god, I have it over me, what am I doing? That's like, well, Darrell, weren't you saying like when you had to write stuff out, you're all, I just I just wrote whatever quickly because it started, yeah. what were you saying? I was, I had to do that, the auto writing thing, and uh, what had happened was, I was, you know, just trying to get in and out of there, so I asked a couple questions. Emily, are you a friendly ghost? But when I was trying to write yes, I asked two simple questions, and in me writing yes, my arm just was starting to go all over the paper. Yeah. And so, you know, I just grabbed it and ran up out of there because I wasn't really trying to, you know, <laughs> experience none of that, you know? I don't know if I'm ignorant. I mean, like, <laughs> if something happens, if some, you know, like when he, Ryan said when he, was, when he was at his dance rehearsal when he felt someone tug on the shoulder, like, I would never think that that would be a ghost exactly. or a spirit doing that. Exactly. It's got to be something, anything, you know? Like, right. I just, I don't, I would like, I, I want to experience one. That's, that's what I want to say. But yeah. you did, feel, you, but you were scared. Like, I you mean, did you feel, feel a weird. Presence. You could definitely feel a presence sometimes, yeah. but as far as a spirit going inside of me and controlling me. Um, I actually have a question for you, Abby. When you, when you had to pull the lever and release all the cockroaches with a box on your head, mm. at first, like, you kind of couldn't do it, but you went back and you completed the dare. And I just want to say, like, what, I just want to, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's like a really, I mean, I can't um, believe you went back there. Like, what gave the, you the strength to do it? When I first went down there, um, I mean, the, the, the sounds and the screams and the voices and, and, I mean, actual, like, things were happening, vibrations, just crazy things were happening when I was down in that basement. It was probably the most evil place that I went to on that property. Calm down. They can't hurt you, all right? They cannot hurt know. you. Just calm. I don't know. I need to go. Ah! I'm fucking out of there. And it's where, you know, all these people got killed. <laughs> like nine people were found floating upside down, you know, anyway. <laughs> when I went down there, light bulbs started to burst and this crazy scream happened and we had been like 10 hours into this, our second night or something, and I, I couldn't take it anymore. I was just like, how many times do I have to go out there? How many times am I, 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 I thought, if anything, I was in hell and it was never gonna stop. And so that's why I kind of snapped at first and when I saw Liz and she's like, I'll give you a thousand dollars of my money if you don't want to do this. I can't make her decision for her. I will give her a thousand dollars if she wants to stay and if she wants to keep going, she can do it because you know what, they can't hurt you. It was the most beautiful thing. She like brought me back down and I was just like, damn love, you know, got all this love waiting back here in the safe house for me. and. Um, I went back down, and um, when I put my head in that box, I didn't really even think about anything. I was yeah. just like, 
I was like numb. Just in your I wasn't sleep. thinking about anything, and um, thank God the thing broke and nothing fell out except one cockroach. Yeah, so I was cool really with that. <laughs> I was really lucky. All right. When we come back, MTV.com polled the fans to find out what they thought. We'll have the results when we get back. Because yeah. when you put those infrared goggles on, everything comes into perspective, yeah. and you're just I'm like, dropping. whoa. I'm looking at my shadow, and I swear to God, it looked like I had a hard hat on, and I was carrying a rifle. Like, you know, the camera. I'd look over, and I'd be like, okay, I'm you tripping too. out. I'm tripping, I'm <laughs> tripping. Who would you want to share a bed with in the safe house? <laughs> with the radio, lie down in the box and close the lid. I, I, I had to, I had to bury him. They made me shovel dirt into a puppet. MTV.com conducted a poll to see what the fans thought. And the people have spoken. Who do you guys think had the scariest dare of all time? Ooh. Darrell. Ooh. I'm going with Darrell and Darrell. Sharif on that. It's a it's a toss up yeah. between those two. And I hers, I don't know. Hers, that was feet. pretty crazy. That with the spikes, with the spikes was pretty scary. Holly. Yeah, that one was pretty scary. Oh, insects. I'm gonna hit up Darrell. I'm with Darrell. I'm between the two. Darrell gets pretty bad. Let's see. Let's see. All right. All right. All right. And the winner is. Oh, man. You spent 18 hours in a cell block alone. How do you feel about that? You, you, you I, I feel serious. Okay. I feel it was appreciated. 18, <laughs> yo, 18 plus hours. Yeah. I mean, come on, that's yeah. that's insane. That's, that's insane. So, who do you guys think had the best scream? You. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, man. Yeah. 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 Yours is like a multiple thing. That's why mine was one. Yours was multiple. Okay. So let's see. <laughs> Let's see, you guys ready? Ready. Ryan. Yeah. Legendary, legendary. Okay, all right. Who would you want to share a bed with in the safe house? Whoa, I would think of him. <laughs> really? Oh. Not that I want to share a bed with him. I'm just saying that yeah. he, I think his... I don't know. I heard he has fans and stuff. Maybe. Let's see. Steve! <laughs> oh, the love. The siren or something? Yeah, look, he's all blushing. <laughs> right. well, oh, Ryan. Good luck, guys. Look at that handsome young man. <laughs> Who was your favorite team member of all time? Yeah. Oh, I gotta go with Tyree. Is it Tyree. just out of the people that are here? It's, it's, it's just out of everybody here? I don't know. I say Abby. I'm gonna go with Tyree because it's just Abby. Classic. Yeah, you either Abby or Tyree. I'm gonna go with Tyree. Either, All right. Either Abby or, Ty or Let's Tyree. Let's see. It's Holly. What? It's Holly? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Holly. Oh, you need to calm yourself yes. right now. I hope nothing's physically wrong with me. I have piercings on my body and stuff. Why me? Why me? I hope my waterproof mascara isn't running. I think I'm gonna throw up. All right, a bunch of us have had close encounters with ghosts, including a few possessions. Now it's time to hear from the other side. That's right, here with us now is our special surprise guest,